okay? You know what's funny? I'm feeling like I have, is your mother passed over here? For some reason, I'm being really drawn over here, so ladies, listen. This lady is coming forward, and she's telling me that somebody buried with her, like, a watch or a brooch or something that was metal. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense to you? There's something to you about her dress, right? Like, you actually helped dress her or something? Yeah. She buried her with her tweezers. Okay, so that makes sense because I'm going, what? She Thank you. Very, she just had to continually clean the little hairs off her face. And was it important that you put shoes on or not put shoes on her? Put them on. Now, was that, you changed shoes at the very end, didn't you? Yes. Looking sexy, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> when I get this sign, that means that either somebody's buried and then somebody's buried on top. And I'm feeling like, why is she showing me this? So she says she's finally on top. My brother's. Okay, okay. So she's showing me she's on top. She's on top of her mother. <laughs> oh. She was cremated. Okay, great. So she's on top. Okay, so this yes. is her way of having her mother come forward. Yes. Did you just lose like a necklace that had a cross on it or something or a circle that had a cross in it? Because she just held up a cross necklace. It doesn't mean religion. It just means that there is, because it's showing me it's a fine gold piece. So I have a broken ankle bracelet in my purse. <laughs> Does it have a gold? It had a little round thing on it. It wasn't a cross. Can you check why we wait? It's no, it's, it's not a cross. And the little thing that was on it fell off, so it's, it's broken. Okay. Okay, so what you're saying is you're irresponsible with your things. <laughs> Fair enough. Now she also talks about varicose veins, veins being a problem in the family. Does that is that correct? Yes. Okay, and you're having them now? Yes. Okay, and you're not doing anything about it? No. Okay. <laughs> Get on it! <laughs> You know, she's kind of a worry ward the way she shows me because she likes to be in a lot of people's business. I guess where we're from, everybody knows me like they know all. They're related to me, but I don't know I'm related to them. So they know stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the way that she's also telling me when I said that is that you have family that is not connected where there is like a either somebody that was adopted or somebody that was given away. That makes sense? Yes. Right, so are you on Ancestry? Uh, my sons are. Great, right. yeah. because maybe your husband might be my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long process. Where's my daddy? Doesn't really work very well, doesn't fare well when you're almost 50. You're going, are you my daddy? Yeah. Most of them are dead right now, <laughs> they're my daddy. Because they're also saying that you're making sure that you're connecting all the dots or something. Doesn't look like a tree, it looks like a bush. Looks like a hedge. Yeah. My sons are adopted, so we're trying to figure out stuff for them. I'm just seeing that this is all coming together and there's also so, like other pieces of the family that are not making sense to you yes. and that wow everyone has brown hair but now this one has blonde hair yeah. right your mom's pretty cool she's pretty straightforward like she's pretty like tidy whitey and she's like well you just behave yourself because you're the one that follows the rules you're the one that doesn't like to make waves and she's making note that now is your time to make that change even like being very independent does that make sense to you yes independent on your own independent does that make sense to you it does okay so I'm going to stop there because everybody knows everybody's business. And by the time you go to the bank, everyone's going to know your business. Thank you so much. Your mother is really fun to work with. And um, when you were coming here, you were thinking about her. The spirit comes out of love, right? In my sessions, in my private sessions, you don't normally hear me say, your mom loves you, so-and-so loves you. Because it is the act of love that makes us feel something, not the words, right? And so sometimes you go to people like myself. They're going to say, oh, they're sitting in the light beside Jesus. I'm like, what? fucking light I've never seen the light that's reserved for people who go like I'm not gonna see it so to me I'm just a no bullshit down-to-earth type of person and I believe that we're all here because we're looking for answers that you have to find within yourself but maybe if there's something that's said here tonight I think this is I'm planting a seed I'm helping you start to understand what your journey is because as we get older like we are has anybody just woke up recently like your late 40s and you're hitting 50s or your late 60s hitting 70 and you're like oh my god when I was young I thought these people were friggin old and now you're that age, you're like, I'm not old! Ow! <laughs> right? It's really about really what our journey and what our story is. And I think that tonight there might be some seeds that are planted. And whether you get a reading or not tonight, you're going to walk away with some really good pieces of knowledge, I guess, about how to change your perspective so you can change your story.